Hello everyone, I'm Adam Levine, the director of the museum, here for object number two in Classic Court with Ajante Hall, presenting Words of Antiquities to you this October of 2020. Here we are with this extraordinary cartonnage of a woman named Ang Tesh. So cartonnage is a fancy term for linen and plaster. It's sort of a cheaper version of a coffin that would have been used to wrap tightly to a body in ancient Egypt. And the plaster substrate provides a wonderful surface for painting. And you can see here this extraordinarily well-preserved imagery, bright reds and greens that seem almost to be untouched by the 2,500, 2,700 years since this object was made. You see, ancient Egypt is a desert. And in the desert, there's not a lot of rain. And it's actually water and oxygen that together degrade objects. So in a really dry environment like ancient Egypt, while there's oxygen, if there's no water, then you can frequently end up with extraordinarily preserved things like this. Now, Amtesh was the name of a woman, but we also have a key in the imagery itself that this was made for a woman. And it's in her face which on its surface may appear to be the palest part of the, or the least um, uh, uh, saturated hue in the entire composition. But it's actually that pale yellow which distinguishes Amtesh as a female. In ancient Egypt, it was characteristic for young children and women to be depicted as yellow and for men to be depicted as red. So throughout, we have uh, these reds and greens illustrated the mummification process, the passage of the body into the afterlife. As we saw in an earlier illustration with our cat mummy, um, humans also were mummified as part of an ancient Egyptian religious process that preserved the body, and therefore the soul, for its journey to the afterlife, where the two would be united and the individual would live happily in perpetuity.